points today we will study about the pulse the lymph and the lymph vessel now what is pulse with each ventricular systole the jerk is experienced by the wall of the artery when the left ventricle contracts the blood is pushed forced into the uh, arteries and due to its muscular wall it expands that is dilates but when the uh, diastole starts that is it starts to uh, relax the pressure is decreased so the uh, artery will contract this is called pulse so what is pulse now that is here we have to study today pulse the alternate alternate expansion expansion and elastic recoil elastic recoil of wall of artery wall of artery with ventricular systole ventricular systole and diastole and diastole is called pulse is called pulse so when the left ventricle will contract it will pump the blood into the arteries as a result the wall of artery will expand but as the uh, diastole will start that is the ventricle will start to relax then the pressure is decreased and due to the muscular elastic wall the artery will contract the narrow passage will be formed now so this is we see that pulse can be experienced that is this elastic recoil and expansion can be experienced at some places in the body where the artery is superficially placed like at this place here there is radial artery so when we place our thumb at this place then we can easily experience the jerk now why when we go to doctors visit doctors then you have often experienced that while talking to you they keep your uh, uh, hands held in this position actually at that time he is counting the pulse rate and hence he is counting the heart beat now so we see that is uh, a question arises that is the counting of counting of pulse is indirectly indirectly counting of heartbeat heartbeat explain or give reason explain now so what will be the answer as many times as the left ventricle contracts the jerk is experienced by the wall of the artery that is it will give us the pulse rate hence the counting of pulse is indirectly counting of heartbeat clear student so this is about the pulse now the pulse is experienced on radial artery the next topic is now about the lymph and lymph vessel now so the next is lymph now what is lymph a student we have studied that is suppose here is an organ now when an artery enters into an organ then it divides into arteriole this is arteriole now arteriole further divide into capillary surrounding the tissues now here there will be the tissues now further after exchange of material after exchange of material the capillary reunite to form the a small vessel called venule and then venules join to form venules join to form here the vein now this is the capillary capillary now these are the tissues 
Now we see that when the blood passes through the blood capillary, as it has a very thin wall, so due to the high pressure, its plasma part gets squeezed out into the tissue space, intercellular space, where it is termed as tissue fluid. Now, diffusion of substances takes place as well as some materials also diffuse into the blood capillary. Now we see here a student that due to the pressure, the major part of the blood plasma gets filtered out, passed out. But due to decrease in pressure, some of it only returned back into the blood capillaries and remaining part remains here. Now, this fluid has to be returned back to the blood circulation, but it will not be carried by the vein because it fails to enter into blood capillary. So, there is a separate tubular channel suspended into the tissue spaces and this is called lymph vessel. Lymph vessel. Now, the fluid into the intercellular spaces are absorbed by the these uh, free ends of the lymph vessel. That is, when the tissue fluid enter into the lymph vessel, then it is termed as lymph. Clear, student? So, now you see here, that is, the fluid, which is actually blood plasma, blood plasma present in the intercellular space, intercellular space is called, is called tissue fluid, tissue fluid. Now in the tissue fluid, the lymphocyte, the WBC will also be present that has been squeezed out by the process of diapedesis. Now, when the tissue fluid, when the tissue fluid enter into lymph vessel, lymph vessel, then it is called it is called lymph. So just we see that it is the tissue fluid. That again you can remember when the blood plasma baths the tissues, cells are present in the intercellular spaces then it is called tissue fluid. And when the tissue fluid enters into the lymph vessel then it is called lymph. So we can say that the fluid flowing in the lymph vessel is called lymph. Now composition. Its composition, the composition of a lymph, it is similar to blood plasma. Similar to blood plasma and also contains, also contains WBC, mainly lymphocyte. Mainly lymphocyte lymphocyte so it is similar to blood plasma means it will have the water the proteins uh, soluble proteins nutrients metabolic wastes and all other things now you see a student since there is no pressure or there is very little pressure here so the fluid cannot enter directly so this fluid enters into the lymph vessel by physical exercises, contraction of the muscle. So the physical exercise again helps in draining away the tissue fluid. That is the beneficial, uh, beneficial part of the physical exercises. Now, at regular intervals, that is after draining out the tissue fluid, now the lymph, lymph is filtered again and different parts of the body in lymph nodes where filtration takes place, germs are localized and then it will be killed by the WBC. Now, so the lymph vessel will carry it away and the lymph is poured into the vena cava, 
before entering into the right auricle. So we can say here lymph is uh, poured into the vena cava vena cava before entering into the right auricle right auricle and in this way the proteins the proteins and other substances other substances are returned are returned to the blood circulation to the blood circulation circulation clear student now you see further here student that is if we have to study that is since there is no pressure or very little pressure in the lymph vessel so it has semi lunar valves similar to the veins so we write here that is lymph vessels contain lymph vessels contain uh, semi lunar valves semi lunar valves like veins like veins now clear student further we see here student that it has what is the function of lymph function of lymph first point that it drains away it drains away excess tissue fluid excess tissue fluid and returns into the blood circulation into blood circulation first point second at some places since lymphatics or lymph vessels are scattered throughout the body to drain out the tissue fluid so at the place where the blood does not reach the lymph will supply nutrients so it supplies nutrients to those parts to those parts where blood does not reach blood does not reach next point you see in intestine after digestion of food the digested food components are absorbed by the blood capillaries and sent sent to the liver through hepatic portal vein for assimilation process for detoxification of the toxic substances but the end product of the fat after digestion is fatty acid and glycerol which are not absorbed by the blood capillaries so the fatty acid and glycerol is absorbed by the lymph vessel called lactal so fatty acid fatty acid and glycerol not directly fat fatty acid and glycerol the digested end product of the fat is absorbed absorbed in the small intestine a small intestine by lymph vessel lymph vessel called lactal so this is the question asked in objective lactals that is it is the lymph vessel that absorbs fatty acid and glycerol now the next important point that it it helps in helps in immunity immunity by draining by filtering filtering and killing germs killing germs by wbc at 
लिम्फ नोड्स लिम्फ नोड्स द मोस्ट कॉमन एग्जाम्पल इज टॉन्सिल टॉन्सिल यू हैव ऑफेन ऑब्जर्व दैट वेन सम इंजुरी टेक्स प्लेस और लाइक इन केस ऑफ सेवियर कोल्ड एंड कफ यू हैव ऑफेन ऑब्जर्व द स्वेलिंग डेवलप्स एट दिस प्लेस this is called tonsil and it is due to the accumulation of germs and wbc fighting against it at this lymph node called tonsil so when you suffer from tonsil then it is suggested to gargle with saline water that causes plasmolysis of the germs and germs are killed the swelling is revived and hence we get uh, we become uh, we get uh, comfortable we feel comfortable from this effect Dear student, now, so at uh, when we suffer from some injury or wounds in different parts of the body, then you have often observed the swelling of lymph nodes at the armpit, groins, and other parts. Clear? Now, then we have to study here about a spleen. A spleen. The largest. Largest lymph gland. Largest lymph gland. It is situated. It is situated in the abdominal cavity, abdomen, abdomen behind the stomach, behind the stomach, and above left kidney. left kidney now we have studied about its function earlier that is in embryo in spleen rbc and wbc are produced further the worn out rbc the dead rbc are destroyed there the spleen acts as it acts as the blood reservoir blood reservoir that is whenever there is requirement of excess of blood cells then from here the cells are released into the blood circulation now in embryo rbc are produced are produced now next dead and worn out rbc worn out rbc and wbc are destroyed destroyed so this these are the different functions of spleen clear student now one more thing suppose you have to compare between blood and lymph the first point related to its uh, color and then we will study about its composition now suppose we are taking blood and lymph comparison between blood and lymph first red in color here it is extra colored extra colored or we can write that is it is uh, light yellow in color next contains rbc wbc and platelets and platelets now then we see that is uh, here it contains it contains only wbc mainly lymphocyte lymphocyte now next as a location if you let study then it flows in it flows in artery vein and capillary artery vein and capillary where it flows in it flows in lymph vessel 
lymph vessel one more thing about the direction of the flow blood flows away from the heart away from the heart and towards the heart that is bidirectional towards the heart here further we see that lymph only flows only flows towards the heart towards the heart so we can compare between differentiate between blood and the lymph clear student now we will study uh, one question related to blood circulation which is uh, uh, different from the normal topic students in board a question was asked like this diagram was made and here you can easily see the diagram like this and then the structure we are drawn suppose from here now then from here now the question was asked mainly that is a simplified diagram of the chambers of the heart are shown here now there was labeling made 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 the question was to label them and then the related question was asked like you see first of all it was given that the blood vessel 8 contains semi lunar valve blood vessel 8 contains semi lunar valve now the one major thing which we have to understand here that is according to the chambers of the heart normally we see we learn that the upper chambers are the auricles and the lower chambers are the ventricles but the question was given the simplified diagram is given and what is simplified here actually no, in normal diagram suppose here the blood comes the cross between the blood vessels like this is the uh, tissue the blood vessel goes to this part and from here goes to lungs but to prevent the crossing this left chamber has been inverted that is if it's uh, observing the position of this valve we can uh, remember here that is suppose this is right auricle this is right ventricle no problem but on this side this is left auricle and this is left ventricle now how we come to know because we know that the valves open from auricle to the ventricle further we have seen that is from this one the blood vessel 8 contains semi lunar valve from right ventricle so it is pulmonary artery pulmonary artery and then this will be the lungs as we know that from the lungs blood through pulmonary vein pulmonary vein goes to the left auricle so this is the major point then this is left ventricle and here this is aorta and from aorta this is tissue and this is vena cava so you have to mainly remember this point that is the blood is going from auricle to the ventricle the valve was shown uh, that is reversed that is it was inverted so sometimes in the next question you may have this inverted portion on this side also so while answering the question you do not see directly or recall the topics but you will also have to remember here you will also have to observe carefully that what is given in the question clear student now go through the different topics related to circulatory system and then try to answer the questions given in the exercise as well as you can uh, practice the questions from uh, different uh, various years uh, past years in the board examination and this chapter will become quite clear to you okay student